Uh, Kate Evans is going to read some poems by Adrian Rich. Maybe give us a little, a little background too. Sure. Thank yeah. you. Hi. I know there are several people here, I believe, who are going to read poems by Adrienne Rich. We're going to do a, a small sort of um, tribute to her. Adrienne Rich um, died very recently, and she taught at San Jose State briefly uh, before my time, before I was here. Um, and uh, she came back to give an incredible reading uh, that many of us um, saw and were part of. Um, Alan actually has an interesting story about that, that when he comes up to share, he can, he can talk about that. Uh, but uh, Rich touched many people's lives for a lot of different reasons. She was a poet and an essayist and um, just an incredible, uh, a incredible figure in terms of um, being very concerned about um, the way women uh, the way women and um, gays and lesbians were um, uh, treated in this society. And I think what most strikes me about her is her fierceness. And that's why I picked this poem called Song, because in this poem, she is really reclaiming the idea of loneliness. And I think she's doing so in a very fierce way. So I wanted to read that poem, and then I'm going to read one of my poems. Uh, as well, since Alan uh, asked me to do so. Okay, this poem is called Song. You're wondering if I'm lonely. Okay, then, yes, I'm lonely, as a plane rides lonely and level on its radio beam aiming across the Rockies for the blue-strung aisles of an airfield on the ocean. You want to ask, am I lonely? Well, of course. Lonely as a woman driving across country day after day, leaving behind mile after mile, little towns she might have stopped and lived in and died in, lonely. If I'm lonely, it must be the loneliness of waking first, of breathing dawn's first cold breath on the city, of being the one awake in a house wrapped in sleep. If I'm lonely, it's with the rowboat ice fast on the shore in the last red light of the year that knows what it is, that knows it's neither ice nor mud nor winter light, but wood with a gift for burning. So that's Rich's poem. And then um, my poem, uh, I hope has a little bit of fierceness in it too. It's called Learning to Ski. And I actually learned to ski last year, so uh, that's where this comes from. My first time on skis, everything looks like Half Dome or Everest. If you want to fly, you need wings, don't you? I keep thinking about how Jung says we are protagonists in our own lives and an extra in a larger drama. I'm terrified, no one cares. I'm an exclamation point, they are a comma. The last thing broken in me was my heart. And it wasn't a hairline fracture. It was the Humpty Dumpty divorce. But whose isn't? That man swaying through the snow like a dance, that woman floating down the mountain like a kite. Someone broke their hearts, or will, yet they don't stand still. They explode like robust angels claiming souls. When the lift swoops me up, my feet dangle into nothingness. I am ready to wing it, this abyss.